I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Prince Harry kind of alluded to the fact that Diana, uh, that his mother, that he felt her presence uh, during this ordeal they've gone through, and that her um, money is what helped them get their new start. And uh, they seem to cut out some of that. So let me know what you Who think. Who could have ever imagined that the uh, royals had such a limited um, uh, input into what happens in their everyday life? I mean, you would. I mean, you would think that they make the decisions about what's going on. But no, there's a bunch of uh, civilians that are telling them what to do and who they do and who they can do and what they can do and how they can do it. Let's find out what's really going on. So for this um, for this reading on, uh, I'm not necessarily. Princess Diana, but her involvement uh, in uh, the lives of uh, Harry and Meghan specifically. I'm sure she's she's looking over uh, her, uh, William also, but we're going to talk about uh, Harry and um, and Diana, Meghan, and and that uh, whole bizarre uh, situation. Anyway, uh, so we're going to use again the Spellcaster's Tarot that I used uh, yesterday, and uh, I'll show you again if you didn't see that uh, video that this has got a nice. Uh, instruction manual you could say life should come with an instruction manual and maybe this is the closest we'll get to it the cards are cool they come in a nifty box and uh, everything fits together perfectly just like life does put that to the side and get these cards going and we'll be talking about the influence that Diana's having on uh, Harry specifically after this um, after this kind of mini reveal in that regard from the uh, TV special with who else? Oprah. And uh, you know, it's just amazing. Think about Oprah. She started from being a very poor uh, little girl and worked her way up to this amazing uh, status that she has now. Almost, um, it was written in the stars, you could say. Uh, Megan, similar story, but on a more uh, personal level. I mean, her uh, rise uh, was, um, I think, really focused on making that uh, Hollywood a world work for her and then once she achieved that success she right away um, decided that you know she can help other people around the world and then that's in the end what drew um, she and Harry together he also revealed in that interview was how uh, Megan had a uh, previous um, friendship I suppose it up with Eugenie the uh, daughter of uh, Prince Andrew so Princess Diana what are you doing uh, what, what have you what have you done for us lately, Princess Diana? Are you looking over Harry? What can the cards tell us, tell us about that? I'm sure there's going to be something uh, revealed here. I just don't quite know what it is yet. Okay, we're going to jump right into Princess Diana. You know, I'm always, I, I love it when the cards spread out nicely and evenly. Um, it just I feel like I'm really in tune that way but then uh, paradoxically when there's a mess up and they're all bunched up in one place I, I, you know there's always a message that the cards brings for you that's the only thing you have to say so we'll take six right off the top I'm really drawn to this little gap right here so I'm gonna take both of those out of that gap so that's two there's a little group right here I'd like to dig into that's three let's go back over here four let's um Diana Diana what do I need to know out of these cards it's five and then the last one is gonna be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you haven't watched uh, Catch Peter's uh, Soul Crossings, which uh, deals with uh, how perhaps we transition, you should. It's interesting. Entertaining at the very least, and a little enlightening at the very most. So, signifier card for Princess Diana. What, what, what are you uh, doing for Harry? What have you been doing for Harry? The signifier in these, <laughs> this is what you've been doing for Harry. The signifier in the, in this reading is the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups speaks to us of uh, relationships and um, and finding each other, having celebrations together. And uh, this couple here, even though they're, they're uh, two men, they seem to be very much um, of the same mind and, uh, and drinking from the same cup and um, out in the wilderness. And uh, it's interesting, of course, that one of them is black and one of them is white. So we'll just take that uh, for what it is. And uh, I notice a, a sweet little turtle 
uh, crawling up this uh, this tree limb here, and uh, I wonder if that's not uh, Mom kind of watching on. The challenge to these uh, two, uh, this two of cups, is then wow, four of wands, which is uh, celebrations and and <laughs> wow, and also a black and a white couple here. How lovely that is. And so they've joined together in a, a, a routine that some some marriage um, rituals use in binding you together with ribbon. And those ribbons are just floating up in the air. It's a small celebration, which we understand now is what, in fact, uh, Harry and Meghan had before the big blowout wedding that we all watched on TV. They had a small little wedding, uh, just the two of them and the Archbishop. So um, this is lovely that these two... Uh, these two cards, the signifier and the challenge, uh, are both uh, represented by mixed race uh, couples. That's really nice. So the basis uh, of this reading, and again, this is kind of what gives the whole thing color. Maybe what it, the whole thing sprouts from is the star. And if you don't think Princess Diana was the star, then you weren't watching um, what was going on all those years. And this star has found a way to balance herself between uh, Earth and and water and uh, and make an even pour and uh, I get the feeling that these these pictures kind of represent William and Harry as a matter of fact one is very grounded in the knowledge of what he has to do uh, regarding this this earth uh, plane over here and then the other one is uh, dealing with all the emotions uh, that uh, might come uh, from their the, from their upbringing and from their life exactly as a matter of fact so that's the basis of the reading I'm gonna say this is Princess Diana now, the recent past for this reading about how is Diana, uh, is, is she, in fact, influence, influencing Harry's life? And so far, it looks pretty clear that she is. But the past for that is going to be the Hierophant. And wow, this, the Hierophant tells, is, suggests to us structure, uh, government, rules to live by. And these two uh, subjects of this Hierophant are bent over in complete... Um, um, they're, they're completely uh, in. What's the, I don't can't think of the word I'm looking for, but they, they are at this hierophant's beck and call. They're not going to lift their head or make a move. And this hierophant, look at what he's got. He's wielding here. He's got a whip on this side, and he's got a book of rules on this side. And it looks to me like this hierophant might be that uh, the firm that we talk about, the firm. And again, we've got a very distinctive couple here. Where this uh, this woman is green, and uh, and this gentleman is red, and uh, uh, I wonder if this is Meghan Markle who came up with the the she's, this woman is holding this moon, and she certainly uh, helped reveal the secrets and a green way for this couple to travel out of their imprisonment uh, in, within the firm. Now the uh, sky for the firm, in other words, the the um, most hopeful outcome, I guess, is the night of wands and you know knights are the um the rule keepers of the of the palace you know they're the ones who go out and say okay we're going to enforce uh, what the king wants us to do and uh, this knight is soaring in on a hawk i suppose and uh with with authority i mean this is a determined uh ride for this very well uh, clad knight charging in with a fruitful stable wand. And then the likely outcome for this, again, high up in the sky, look down on the situation, is going to be Seven of Pentacles. And this is always wondering, have I done enough? Have I have I nurtured this, this, uh, this life um, enough to bring forth all the uh, fruit that it can bear? So that's the high up in the sky of that reading. Now to go ahead and, and continue on with this reading, we're going to take four cards off of here for the self. In other words, um, the focused uh, purpose, I guess, of, uh, of it, this question, is Diana uh, helping to guide uh, Harry specifically through this, uh, this maze that he's had, this journey he's had to take? So the signifier card for that then is the Nine of Pentacles. And you know, the Nine of Pentacles really fits in with the whole uh, narrative that Harry laid out. He said that the uh, money that his mother left him, which I understand was about $30 million, was, was, was the foundation that they launched their new life on. 
And uh, this uh, woman here is, as a matter of fact, laying down these foundations. She got her pinnacles uh, engraved into the wall, embedded into this, this sturdy wall. And she's holding up this little squirrel. You know, I'm, I haven't uh, tried to look into what a squirrel might represent as it regards the tarot. But uh, she certainly is looking at it with a very forlorn face, uh, helping him up. His head is covered, as a matter of fact. Um, and they're in this beautiful garden. Kind of reminds me of the sunken gardens at the Kensington, where, um, which were planted, as a matter of fact, in uh, white uh, flowers. I don't know if they were roses uh, in, in respect for Diana. And, uh, and she, so she, she left him with a, a, a fortified wall of money. That he could make a start out so this is the 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 uh, the self of this reading right now the um environment that this is in is in fact the ace of cups and the ace of cups is i always say that the, the cups are, are passion and love and emotion and in this ace of cups there's some turmoil here you can see that this huge ace of cup ace of cups is just really running over in a very lovely um almost artistic well of course artistic manner to fill up this this um lake um in a, which which is a little turbulent and you've got some some fish in here who actually have uh some looks on their faces of dismay and um but you can see that this is all love so the environment of this uh this uh, wall that was built is is love the hopes and the fears for for uh, the spirit of Diana looking down over this couple is a fool. And it's, my goodness, this couldn't be more on point. So they had to take a new start. They had to step out on a journey and just trust everything and, and that they would not fall, that they would be carried forward. And they did. They they followed their instincts, which maybe that was actually the 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 benefit of a mother's love and started out on the journey with just what they had. They left everything else behind and took just what they had, which of course was significant in this couple's pair, but nevertheless, to start out fresh in this regard is justice. Man, what an amazing reading. Um, this is so spooky for me. But yeah, so the, the final outcome here is Lady Justice. And you know, so often we see justice is blind, but this lady is, is looking at us full on she's holding the scales up to us demanding that we that we look for the balance in in a situation and uh, and on the other hand she has a pomegranate which is very fruitful and you know i have to tell you what's interesting about justice is this hand i hadn't noticed before actually the flesh stops at the wrist and then there's a bony hand i'm sure you can't see it on the camera so you just have to trust me there's a bony hand that is holding this uh pomegranate um, and she stands between looks like the pillars uh, of uh, Solomon's tomb uh, Boaz and Joaquin which uh, talk to us about the strength and starts so justice 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 is the final outcome man that's a beautiful read for is Princess Diana is her spirit guiding this couple through this inevitable transition I've got to tell you, sometimes the way these cards come out really is, is, is spooky to me. Um, so we had, in the beginning of this reading, we started out with a signifier of a mixed-race couple uh, having celebrations, finding themselves in the wilderness. Um, the uh, challenge to them is still a mixed-race couple being married uh, in a smaller celebration, which, of course, is how we found out that Harry and Meghan were actually married uh, three days before the big blowout wedding that we all watched on television. It... Uh, talks to us down here about the value this wall of pinnacles that uh, Diana left for Harry the hopes and the fears were this fool starting out complete trust just what he had to take with him on a new on a new uh, a new journey and then it ended in this in the uh, final outcome with justice and, and a demand for justice so I think it's a beautiful reading and I hope you did too well, well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be here again tomorrow. So come on back. We'll do it again on something else. Who knows what? You know, if you tell me what you want to know, I can do that. So write in the comments or even better. I know a lot of you are, are watching. Just subscribe. You can't believe how much that will help me uh, get further in this, in this uh, journey of mine through tarot. So please.
if you can and why can't you subscribe Thank you.